My name is Andrew Hanna, and this is my 1942 Formal M. This is my first time entering a tractor in the Chevron Tractor Restoration Competition. I put a lot of work into this tractor, and I'm excited to present it to you today. The Formal M is a row crop tractor produced by the International Harvester Company from 1939 to 1953. This year, 2023, happens to be the 100th anniversary of the first Farmall model, the regular. This model has the four-cylinder gasoline engine. Some unique things about it are the wide front axle. This is a somewhat rare option from the factory, as well as this angled Delco Remy distributor. This tractor is also equipped with the belt pulley and the belly hydraulics. These fenders were also available from the factory. However, this tractor did not come with them. I decided to add them because I thought they looked cool. I picked this tractor up on February 19th, 2023 in Vineland, New Jersey. Although no one knows exactly how long it has been sitting, based on the trees growing behind it, we estimate about 25 years. The first step with any of the tractors I get is to remove the sheet metal and give it a good wash. Then you can start to inspect the condition of the tractor, I like to drain the fluid out of the transmission and engine, see how much water is in them. And then since the engine did not turn over on this tractor, I pulled the head to see how, how bad the pistons were. Luckily this engine has cylinder liners, so you do not have to bring it to a machine shop to have them oversize the bores. You can just tap out the old liners and tap in the new ones. I like to put the new ones in the freezer so that they shrink and go in a little bit easier. This transmission turned out to be a real can of worms. I took the cover off intending to just replace the seals and gaskets, but I ended up finding a lot of the bearings were spinning in their bores, so I replaced every bearing except for the left axle and differential carrier because they were in good condition. I ended up stripping a couple of the head studs out. I should have just replaced all of them from the start instead of only a couple. In addition to the gaskets, I used silicone for tin covers and Loctite 515 anaerobic sealant for thick flanges. Although it might not be necessary with a new head and valves, I still lapped all of them. The engine hoist is probably one of my favorite tools in the shop, right behind, say, the welder. They're just so versatile and very necessary on a big tractor like this. This is actually the first tractor I've ever put four brand new tires on. I got these nice Titan 13 638s. Now let's fire it up. First step, turn on the gas.
Thank you for watching this presentation. I'm very happy with how this tractor turned out. And thank you to everyone who helped me with this project, especially my dad and Ocean State Oil for donating all the lubricants used on this tractor. 